Hello friends, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISPTrainings.com. In this video, we will be going to talk about the data demand in Spotfire. So data on demand in typical Spotfire is useful when we will be using any external data source which contains huge amount of data. Sometimes after we load data into TIPCO, we found that most of the data is not relevant for analysis or we will not be going to use it or we want to use only some of it. So in this video, I will be going to demonstrate you how to load data from SQL Server into TIPCO Spotfire and how to configure data on demand on same data set by using text files. So first of all, we'll have a look that how can we load data from SQL Server into TIPCO Spotfire. So once you load TIPCO Spotfire, you will find out this home page and in, in this home page, under add data connection, we have an option Microsoft SQL Server. So I click on Microsoft SQL Server. Need to provide the server name. So my server name is BISPPC. And SQL Server authentication. I provide my credentials. Connect. It will test the connection. And once the connection established successfully, it will display a list of all the available databases from the SQL Server. So here in SQL Server, I have got a BISP data set and from BISP database, I would like to load the sales data from, from sales table. I would like to load the data into TIPCO Spotfire. So I select BISP database. Okay. Under view connection, it will list all the available of tables within the selected database. So there are two tables. We have employee and sales. So I'm interested in sales. So I select sales, click on add. We can add more than one tables at a time. And if they have any common columns, it will form an association automatically. So I'm I load a load uh, sales data set. Select the number, uh, select the columns or the attributes here, which we would like to load. And OK. We can rename the table here. So this is only for the rename will be done only in TIPCO. And once I'm done with this, I use import data table. So it will import all the data tables, all the data into Spotfire. And then click on OK. I close this recommended visualization, click on tables to present the data in a tabular format. And there are around 714 rows in sales data set. And they, these are the respective columns. Now, as you can see here, if you look at the years, so if, we, if I apply a filter here, so we have records of consecutive years 13, 14, 15 and 16. But let's suppose at a time I would like to load data only for the respective years for 2015 and 2016. So for that, that comes under on demand data set because in this case, if I uncheck 13 and 14, actually we are filtering the records. The data has the complete set of records has been already loaded into TIPCO Spotfire and they are occupying the space. So I would like to load the data on demand so that uh, based on a certain selection and uh, based on the year selected only that that data will be extracted that will data will be loaded into Spotfire from the data set. So what I am done is I create a blank workbook. I'm not going to save it. I create a new column here named as year. And let's say I want, I add all the consecutive years from 2000 to 2017 or let's say till 2020 or 2017, I'll go with 2016 because we have already 2016. In future, we can refresh this as well. So I select this, I select the 
records, copy them, get back to spot fire, and I'm going to add a data table, a separate data table, add data table, add and click on select clipboard from here. So it will load the records, the set which we select just now. Okay. I rename it as year table and okay close it so the data has been loaded successfully if we look at the tabular for this as well and we can select year table or sales table so we have an option okay, so we have an option to load the data either from sales or either from year table next to enable the data on demand in TIPCO, click on edit, data table properties, select the default data table is sales because I would like to keep all the records from sales but based on the, uh, based on the year selected from the year table. Select this, look at the type of data, it is imported and I select settings, click on settings. By default, all the data at once, as you can see here, there are two options, all the data is once or data on demand. So I would like, I would like to load the data on demand instead of data at once. So I select data on demand and I would like to filter the data or load the data based on the year. So the mapping will be done. I'm going to do the mapping based on year. So select year, define input and input for selected parameters. So value from column, from year table, column is year because there is only one column and filter rows filtering scheme all 17 rows so there are 17 rows in in that uh, the selection which we have done so there are 17 rows so i select 17 all the rows uncheck marking if it is checked so uncheck this and click on ok ok apply ok so now the next step is I'm going to do the visualization. So I close this filter and or I'm going to customize it filter. So right click and organize filter in filter organization. I don't want to display period region because I want to I want to apply filter based on year and also the you can see the year also has so the year field has been added both from the sales table as well as the year table okay and then i filter type as list box filter this is from here this is from sales now i'm going to visualize it so for visualization i close this one or table and also i want to add a line chart so an additional line chart has been added. Let's do some customization, change the fields. So based on region or sorry, based on year and sum of amount. So that's the sum of amount based on year from 2013 to 2016. It, it indicates that the complete set of record has been loaded. But let's suppose I'm interested only in 2015 2016 records so i don't want to load the complete set of records just to avoid, just to save the space so i made a selection in 2015 because we have already set the demanding in data properties so i, I select 2016 and 2015 13 15 and 16 and as soon as I made a selection, as soon as I select year in year table, you can see one refresh button is coming just next to the amount year. And when I click on this refresh data table, only the data from the year 2015 and 2016 has been loaded. So you can see that number of rows are 456. So the number of rows has been reduced. So we are getting the data only from two consecutive years. Similar way, if I select 2014, 15 and 16 and select refresh it so there are 642 rows 
so that's how we can load the data on demand into tipco spotfire so that's all in this video i hope you found this video interesting if that's so please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to hit like button you can share your comments either on bisptrainings.com or you can share your comments same in our youtube channel keep watching have a nice day goodbye